morning, Gators. And welcome to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Story. And I'm Tori. Today is Monday, September 25th. Today we have a quick checkup on the baby chicks. But first, a few announcements. Tonight at 7 o'clock, there is a home volleyball game against Countryside, so be there to support our Gators. The theme this year for homecoming is Gasparilla Pirate Invasion. A homecoming week begins October 23rd. Colors are red, black, and metallic. Seniors, your senior pictures must still be taken and turned in by September 29th, or you will have a blank spot in the yearbook. Girls weightlifting tryouts will be held October 9th at 2.30 in the weight room. Conditioning begins on Tuesday, September 26th at 2.30 in the weight room. All paperwork must be turned in to athletic director Mr. Frum prior to trying out or in conditioning. There will also be a mandatory wrestling meeting for anyone interested in joining the wrestling team at 2.30 on Monday, September 25th. Senior quotes and pictures are now due uh, November 30th. All students in Pasco County School will receive free school meals provided by USDA's National School Lunch Program through October 20th. Meal choices may be limited due to availability and will not follow the published menu. Limited to a la carte items may still be available for purchase. week Hurricane Irma hit Florida, and here's what happened. Irma formed on August 30th near the Cape Verde Islands, which accelerated to a Category 2 in only 24 hours. Irma became a catastrophic Category 5 storm that ravaged the islands of Barabuda, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Luckily, on September 8th, it was downgraded to a Category 4, with winds that clocked over 150 miles per hour. As Irma went up the coast, it weakened into a tropical depression on September 11th and over Tennessee, with no further harm to be done. The number of fatalities is inconclusive, as they are still counting, but the death in Florida is 26, but the unofficial worldwide deaths caused by it is 84. Additionally, Irma left millions out of power and did around $180 billion in damage. Irma broke Atlantic hurricane records and is the strongest Atlantic hurricane ever recorded. Luckily, it didn't do that much to us. Next week, the Caribbean will be faced with another hurricane, Maria. As of when we are recording this, Maria has an SOS alert due to 155 mile per hour winds. Stay tuned next week to see what happens. And now let's check up on the baby chicks. One. What's up, Land Lakes Gator? It's your boy Darius. I'm with my boy Dylan right here, and he's gonna give us an update on the chickens real quick. Um, they're eating a lot of food right now, and they're drinking a lot of water, and we're just going to keep them for eggs, but they're on the track to producing healthy eggs for to eat, so yeah. Alright, that's it. That's all for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.